Hey, what is going on guys? JC here and what I'm bringing you guys today is a tutorial on how to get set up on Muddy Waters Game Server Management. Uh, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you've never had a DayZ server before and you've just purchased one and you are looking to get it set up and be ready to go live. Uh, this video is going to go through every step that I can to try and make that process as easy as it can be. Uh, if you've had servers before, then this won't seem like much news to you, but if you've never hosted a server before, if this is your first time trying to get your own community server going, this video hopefully will help you get everything situated and get your server online and ready to go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to muddywatersgameservermanagement.com, which will be mwgsm.com. You're going to go ahead and you're going to create an account. And then once you create an account, you're going to come up here to services and you're going to go to order new services. So once we get here, you'll see there's a, an array of servers to choose from, but this video is going to be focused on DayZ, so we're just going to hit order now. Now, once we get to this screen here, uh, this is basically where you're going to configure how many slots you want on your server. So a base server is going to be 10 slots going all the way up to 60 slots. And you'll see that as we move the slots, the price changes. Guys, you're not going to beat a 60 slot server for $30. It, it's, it's amazing. So once you choose how many slots you want on your server, uh, for this instance, we'll just do the 60 slot. Well, I already have one ready, but no. So say you want this. This is where a custom mod install service. So if you just want a blank server that you're going to do everything yourself, you're going to, in, you're going to choose install yourself. If you want them to go ahead and set up mods for you, um, they can install the mods configure the mods and make sure that the server is running and there's no errors. Five mods is $20, um, tens, 30, as you can see from the drop down menu. But for what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do install ourselves, And then what you're gonna to come down here in this little area, this is where you're gonna do NA if you're installing yourself. Now, if you are, um, what you're, if you say you want them to set up mods, you're gonna type the mods in here. This will let them know on their side of things, okay, we've gotten this order. These are the mods that we need to get set up and we need to get installed and we need to make sure it's running. But today, like I said, we're just gonna install ourselves. So you would just do NA and then you would continue. I'm not gonna go through the continuing part because I've already purchased servers. So at this point, well, we can just go ahead and hit continue now. So you can kind of see what, what's on the other side of things. If it'll load, my internet's been running really slowly. I don't know what's going on. So this is it. Uh, you have your game, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what you're gonna do, there is a promo code here. Guys, if you wanna use my code gaming with JC, I'll put it on the screen. That'll get you 10% off your first month. Little shameless plug. And then you would just go to checkout. So once you check out and everything's good to go, you'll see that if we come to my services, you'll see that you have Daisy services and they will be active. Now, mind you, it does take a little bit, like a couple minutes to get the server registered and everything. So once the server gets registered, you're going to click on the server and you'll go to your login panel. Now, when you get to your login panel, it's most likely gonna look just like this. I'll show you here in a second. It'll look just like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to service management, you're gonna go to your game services. And then you'll see whatever server for you, it'll probably just be one. I've got two. So we're gonna, you'll choose the IP address of your server. So for this instance, we're gonna go to this one right here because this is the one that we are using for the tutorial purposes. And then this is it. So if you go to your configuration files, this is your server config, basically. This is where you would change the name of the server. Um, you would change the time acceleration right here. So this is your, your daytime stuff. Uh, this is where you can disable your third person if you want. This is pretty much just the root config of the server. And we'll go back to file manager. And then this will be basically your database. Okay, so here's your missions folders. Uh, your instance is your SC folder. For instance, this will be your, like your server profile folder, which we're gonna go through. We're gonna install some mods and, and we'll work that out. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come to your Steam Workshop and let's just install uh, VPP admin. These are basically admin tools that I recommend for everybody to use. So we're just gonna click install. 
Alrighty, so now that we've installed both mods, we'll go to installed content just to make sure. So we're gonna come back to our file manager and you'll see that now we have these two mods here. This is what's really good about this service is it automatically adds the keys to the mod. So if we come here to our keys, it automatically adds it. There's, there is a file transfer protocol option if you'd like that. I personally don't like that. Everything just gets transferred here. So once we get to this point, we're gonna go to our command line manager. This is a very important step. So you'll have two command lines. You have your stock command line and then you have your modded. You wanna make sure you select your modded. Okay, so this is what actually sets the mod order on the server. If you have a server mod, this is where you would enter it. So we've selected this, we're gonna hit apply. And now our server is meant to be, it's going to read that these mods are actually active. So we're gonna go back to our config file real quick and we're gonna change the name of the server. And let's just name this, um, W, I'm sorry, yeah, MWGSM test. So that's our server and we'll put a password on it right in here. We'll just make the password one. So we're gonna save and exit. We're gonna come here and then we're gonna start the server. So once the server has been started, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull up our Daisy launcher. Now this is the really fun part is uh, trying to find these servers. So we named it right here. Oh, that's testing. That is not the one we're looking for. And we're gonna just, just do this and it'll eventually go through and uh, search them up. So now that we have found our server, here it is. Let's just go ahead and I'll favorite it to make it easier. We're gonna join and then we're gonna set up. We made our passwords just one and we'll join in. And this is it. This is our server. Everything is Gucci. So if you want to make changes to your server, this is what we can do. We'll go ahead and close out of this. Come back to your server. Now, every time you always want to just make sure the server's down while you're making changes to it. I, it's a bad habit. I end up not doing that. If you don't, essentially the servers will, all the changes take place on your next restart, but mostly just shut the server down. So say we want to go to, um, we want to, we've added ourselves the tools. We want to make ourselves an admin. You're going to come down here. You're going to go to your instance folder. So once the server gets started at least once, most things will go to your instance folder. So here's our admin tools. Let's just make a password real quick. Um, we're going to make it a uh, test one, two, three, all lowercase. I need to add myself as an admin real quick. So just one second. All right, so we're gonna come into our super admins. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our Steam ID. If you don't know how to get your Steam ID, it's very simple. It's inside your account, Steam account. So that's it. We've set our super admin. We've set a password. Let's go ahead and um, start the server back up. That way we'll be an admin on our own server. So while that's coming up, let's also check what we got here. So this is a DZSA server checker. If you don't know what this is, if you want your server to be on the DZSA launcher, you have to check this. So what you're gonna do is you see your Cori info right here. You're gonna copy this IP address. Once you click this link, it'll open up this right here. You're gonna control V it, check server. And after about a minute or so, you'll notice that your server will be on the DZSA launcher. So this is a very cool thing that they've added. It's literally just a link. You click it, bada bing, bada boom. XML validators, very, very handy. Um, what this will do is, let's delete all of this. So what this will do is, for instance, say we come to our file manager. Uh, we go to our missions folder, Chinars Plus. Here's our types. So say we're going to grab these types right here, these, these two items. If we come here, oh, there we go. And we click this, you'll notice that it's telling us that it's, it's wrong. Okay. If we come over here and we actually close the types, now it's valid. So this is a very, very good tool to have just built in to where it'll tell you, uh, 
it'll tell you what's wrong if it'll tell you if your type files are wrong because if you don't know this that if your type files are wrong or your events files are wrong it'll prevent the server from running correctly the server will turn on the server will run normal but no loot will spawn no zombies will be spawning it'll just really mess things up so every time you're making a change definitely use a validator so the fact that there is a validator right here on the server super super handy steam update is pretty much what it says it is if the game updates um say daisy releases an update if you're having like a version mismatch this is where you would come make sure your server stopped you click the steam update you hit okay bada bing bada boom uh you have a web console to where you can kind of view stuff like that remove persistence files this will wipe i'm talking a player wipe and an economy wipe this will absolutely wipe the server back to like a fresh wipe almost. It will not reinstall the entire server. It'll just kind of wipe your persistence files inside your missions folder. There's another way to do this. If for instance, say I'm gonna, we're running a Chnar server. If I wanna do it, I can just delete this entire storage folder and it'll just populate as soon as the server starts again. Or if you wanna come in here, if you wanna keep your players, but you all you wanna do is an economy wipe, then you would just delete your data folder. Same goes vice versa. If you want to keep the economy, but you're just doing a player wipe, just delete the players.db, keep this alone, and it'll just do a player wipe, and your economy will stay the same. I strongly recommend, though, while you're adding mods and you're adding types before the server goes live, do a wipe. If you do not do a wipe, it will take at least one cycle of a restart to populate the mod and, and you have to like work the central economy stuff out. The last thing we can do is we're going to, bah, 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 where is it? We're gonna go over to our mod manager and then this is a DZSA server side mod launcher. Go ahead and install this. And I'm pretty sure what this does is this lets the server automatically update the mods to DZSA launcher. So if you're trying to use DZSA launcher to join a server and you keep getting PBO errors, this ensures that DZSA has the correct mod list from here. It's something that I would just recommend installing. It's really quick, it's really easy. It's literally one button and you're done. I don't really use DZSA, so I don't really care for this, but if most people do, this is what you're gonna wanna do. Taking one last look into our config files. Like I said, this is where you would change the name of the server, uh, the password of the server, if you wanna have a password. If you don't wanna have a password, don't put nothing in there. You just delete it and you just leave it empty, uh, empty quotation marks. Most things are a one means on, zero means off. So if I wanna disable third person, we're gonna turn both of those to one. Um, See here, if you're changing your mission file, so say you want to run a, say we want to we want to run Enoch. I'm going to remove the dot chinaris and I'm going to do dot Enoch. We're going to go ahead and save and exit. Oh, server's currently running. I forgot. If you're changing anything in your config file, the server needs to be turned off. That's a that's a newbie mistake. So we're going to come back to here. As you'll see right now, our current mission is this folder here. Say we want to run Enoch. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up to your configuration files. Open this up, come down here and make this Enoch. You're going to save and exit. Now, the next time we start our server, I'll show you here in one second. Uh, the server is actually going to say Livonia instead of Chinaris server started here it is right here let's go just come to our favorites let's just go ahead and refresh it'll so it's it's on our favorites give it a second for the server to actually turn on now it's on and now the server says livonia so that's pretty much how it's your you go i mean that's how you get the server set up the biggest crucial thing is making sure you come to your command line manager and making sure you have this modded line selected Otherwise, like I said, you can install a hundred mods. If you don't have this line selected, none of those mods will actually load into the server and you, there's just nothing you can do. 
And that's pretty much it. That's that's really all you need to know on how to set up a server through Muddy Waters Gaming and Server Management. Um, like I said, guys, I strongly, strongly recommend this service over the ones that are out there. Uh, I won't say any names. I won't shame any names. But this is definitely the way to go. Uh, you guys will be super happy with your service. I know I'm happy with it. I'm super privileged to be able to get on here and make these videos for this service. So I would strongly recommend checking them out. Uh, if this did help, guys, please drop a like. That'd be awesome. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I will do my best to get uh, to get them answered and get you guys set up to make sure you are on a server and everything is fun and you're just having a good time. So I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, everybody.